Hi everybody. Uh, we wanted to give you a little bit of a look at what it's going to look like when Montessori is done for the day on Friday. The sextons uh, will probably help you finish the setup, but just in case we thought we'd take you through the last little bits that might need to be done. So this will be your coffee hour table where you would put your uh, food. Um, over here. Over here we have where um, the adults, like if any adults want to sit, especially people that have a hard time standing, a lot of adults will also sit along the wall. Um, we just want to make sure we have plenty of seating. I'm actually not sure that we'll be using this table for a little while. Uh, we don't have a lot of kids coming. This is typically where we put the kids' snacks and, and kids' drinks. Um, but uh, in the future, when we have the kids back, we'll, we'll go back to using this table. Um, some other tables we probably won't be using right away, but um, at some point we will. There's these two tables, which are sh set up shorter for kids, and the kids' chairs. Again, this is going to be something the sextons are probably going to set up for you, and they'll be setting them up somewhere in this area for you so that you can, the kids have their own little place to sit and congregate and eat and throw food at each other and whatever. And after the kids are done sitting and throwing food at each other, uh, Montessori is leaving all these tables up, but there is still a little room for them kind, to kind of run around and play. Um, so don't be surprised when you see all these tables set up, that's actually how we kind of bargained with Montessori for setup. And then over here, we'll be setting up some coffee cups, the coffee, the um, cream and sugar, hot tea, and the cold drinks. But we'll show you the, the full setup after we have everything set up um, and ready to go. Hello everybody and welcome to the Bower Hill Kitchen. As we walk through the door, we're just going to kind of work our way around the kitchen. First thing I'm going to point out is the cart. You'll use that to go into, take stuff in and out of Fellowship Hall, especially the coffee pots, they get heavy. This is our main cabinet. You'll find your sugar and that kind of fun stuff here. Hot tea stuff actually should be a little bit lower. Um, once we have kids back, we'll have a lot more snack, kids snacks in this area and down here. So this will be where your hot tea is. We also have our lemonade um, and iced tea, although we don't use the iced tea very often. It's more often the lemonade. And not that you'll need it, but we have a whole bunch of plastic silverware at the bottom. We don't really use these two cabinets. Here's the freezer. Um, again, you're probably not gonna use it unless you wanna leave stuff for the next week's host or something. Um, you're not gonna use the freezer much. The next big important item is the refrigerator. The refrigerator, you will find your coffee. And we'll go over this when we do the coffee, but you'll have to make sure that you get regular and decaf. The bags look very similar, so you gotta actually read. You'll also wanna check, did the person before you leave you any lemonade or uh, water before you go ahead and make more. Um, and I always make sure that you have cream uh, for the coffee. Next, we have our paper supplies. For coffee hour, we do um, use all, uh, you know, real china plates, uh, real spoons, that kind of stuff. But you will need napkins, which are way in the back. And I should probably switch that around, so maybe someday I will. Make them a little easier to access. You won't need the stoves, the stove or the ovens, but just so you see them. Let's see. Next, we have the island. Under the island, 
are your pitchers for making lemonade and um, coffee. You'll find some trays. In this section of the island, you'll found, find more trays. You'll find bowls, which are really great to use for kids' snacks. And you'll find measuring cups, which you'll need for making coffee. If you're looking for any utensils, most of the uten utensils you would need for coffee hour would be up here. So if you need a spoon for stirring lemonade, that's really the big one, um, you can use one of these spoons. Um, almost forgot, this is the cart that we put the dirty coffee cups on. So you'll want to make sure that you remember to take this out and put this in fellowship home. Um, sometimes this stuff moves, so sometimes you might have to find your sponges down here, your um, Dawn down here. If you're out of paper towels, we have paper towels down here, um, and garbage bags are down here as well. This is also where we make the hot tea. There'll be a separate little snippet on that, so we'll go over that later. A hand washing sink. And this is where the coffee is. Um, and we'll, again, we'll have a separate little snippet about that later. I'm actually going to go into the dishwashing room now. So you'll want to check and see, because um, I always tell the dishwashers to let, let everything air dry. So you want to see if there's any dishes that you need to um, finish putting away um, or really gathering to take into fellowship hall. For now, I'm just going to stick them on the shelf where you find all the cups. So here's all the cups for lemonade and juice. The coffee cups should be here. Um, if you finish with these, you can stick them under here or you can leave them up there for the dishwasher. It's really not a big deal. Um, you'll also, at the very least, want to um, know where the spoons are. This is all the silverware, but usually you don't need any silverware other than the spoons. And then finally, we have um, this uh, little chest of drawers, which has um, towels, which you'll need for cleanup. And either on top or underneath you'll find um, tablecloths to stick on the tables in Fellowship Hall. Um, when towels are drying, you just stick them. This is the top rack. Moving on, one last thing. I always, this will probably end up moving around, but I try to put out um, some hand sanitizer in Fellowship Hall. There is some on the wall, but no, people don't actually always remember, so I usually put this one out right on the table with the food. And there's a few kind of utensil-type things. Tongs are real good to put out. Um, there's wooden spoons, so if you prefer to make your lemonade with a wooden spoon, you can use these. Um, and that's cooking stuff. I believe we have made it all the way around the kitchen, so talk to you soon when we make some coffee and tea. Everybody. We're back and ready to make some coffee. So you will find that usually um, the pots aren't put back together, um, which is actually good because then that uh, allows them to dry. So you got to know what goes with what. This one with the springy hook of a jigger goes with this and there's a oh, aha and this and then you'll notice this lid to feel high so even though it looks wrong it is right this one without the spring goes with this and this one's a little trickier to put in. You have to actually kind of grip it with your fingers so that this doesn't fall down. 
and it just goes in. So there's that. So now that we know what goes with what, I'm going to actually move some stuff around. I'm going to stick this on the cart because this is going to go in Fellowship Hall. And I'm going to stick this on the cart because it's going to end up in Fellowship Hall. I have to go and look. So right now, we're going to make 20 cups of decaf and 50 cups of regular. We will make you something uh, to give you the exact dimensions because on the bag they have dimensions, uh, the amounts. On the bag it does say uh, for 10 servings do this, for 30 servings do this, um, but it doesn't say how many for 20 servings and we're going to do 20 of decaf. So if it's 30 servings is 2 cups, we're going to say 20 servings is about 1 and a third cups. You do want to make sure you have the decaf coffee, which I do. And I always do this over the garbage can because I tend to miss, make a mess. So, that's probably good. Maybe a little hair more. So, might even be closer to one and a half cups. That should be fine. Oh, I should put the water in first. So, I use this water here, and it has marks. This one has marks on the inside and the outside. The other one, I think, just has marks on the outside. So, I'm going to watch for it to get here or here on the inside. going to take the coffee and I kind of even it out a little bit and then I just stick it on and this one is oh I forgot the silly lid I'm not sure how important this lid is to be honest with you I think the first coffee pot that we've had that, but since I remembered it, I'm going to put it on. I guess that's okay. And this one's ready to go. Okay, so we finished the decaf. We're ready to do the regular. Um, I already filled the water for this one, so you don't have to watch me do that. And we did it to 50 and we watched the thing on the outside because there's no measurements on the inside for this one. So this time we want to make sure we have the regular coffee. And since 55 servings is three cups, three cups is good enough for the regular coffee. What's nice about this one is it's four cups. Um, there are other measuring cups if you can't find that, um, but of course they're smaller. Make sure this one's regular, and it is. So, 
Now I have thingy stick the grinds in. Kind of shake it up to even it out. Actually, I think I want to do it this way. Hold on. Oops. I told you I make a mess with the grinds. So I stick this up in there. I hold it with my fingers and find a little hole. Voila. And you just turn all my on and twist. And we're ready to take it into fellowship hole. So we're on our way into Fellowship Hall with the coffee. You'll notice that I skipped the first door and came to this door because there's no lip here to mess around with. So first I'm gonna put the stands. And I'm gonna do regular on the left and decaf on the right. So you have to remember which one. I always do the decaf in the smaller one, but if you flip them around, you gotta remember to put them on the right stand. As soon as I plug this one in, this one turned on. There's no on-off switch for this one. When it's actually ready, it'll turn to green. For this one, there is an on-off switch. Whoever did it last may or may not have remembered to turn it on. In this case, they or to turn it off. In this case, they left it on. You can see that the light came on. If not, you have to use the on-off switch. Everybody. We are here ready to make our hot tea. We have a newer uh, teapot that some of you may have not used yet, so hence the video. Um, what's nice about this pot it is it is a carafe, so after the um, tea is made, it'll keep the water hot for up to six hours. I usually make two pots, so I'll make the first pot, dump it into a carafe, and then make the second pot. And then, like I said, this is a carafe, so you don't have to use a second carafe. To make the tea, I already filled it up with water. All you gotta do, this is the base, and you just plug it in, and you set this on the base. And you'll see, it kind of looks like it's on, but you have to, have to actually hit this little key until you see the 212. Once you see the 212, It'll start boiling the water. I don't think it takes more than five minutes. Um, and once the water's boiled, like I said, you'll pour the first pot into this carafe and then you'll just repeat the process until you have your second pot of water. It automatically turns itself off. So if you forget to come back to it, really no biggie because it turned itself off and it's just acting as a carafe um, and keeping it hot. Right now, I'm just going to gather a whole bunch of stuff to take into Fellowship Hall. We have hot tea. We have sugar. We'll have to remember to put a spoon in there. And then we have all kinds of packets. Um, we'll want to, even though we don't have a lot of kids right now, um, I am putting out these little fruit snacks. So I'll throw these in a get a bowl and take those one out. I believe that's all we need in here. 
if you think of it, you can take out this basket um, if anybody wants to, you know, throw a dollar in or whatever to contribute to soft coffee hour supplies. That's what that message is. Also need napkins. Right here. Down here, I'm gonna grab. I guess they took off my stones. Two plates. One is for dirty spoons, and one is for trash. Uh, we might as well come along this way. Here, I think I missed during the tour. We use this for cream, um, but I'm not gonna put that out right now because really coffee hour is not till tomorrow. I'm gonna grab plates. That's probably good. If you need more, you can always grab more now that you know where they are. bothering these are for the kids like I said we don't have that many kids coming so I've just been going with the larger size cups probably way more than I need for tomorrow but that's okay I also grab spoons. I just grab two of the mugs. There's a few things we haven't brought out yet that I'm going to leave in the refrigerator until right before the service. Things like the lemonade and the cream for the coffee and the water so they stay nice and cold. I also haven't brought out any food yet because um, really coffee hours tomorrow. But um, I've brought out from the dishwasher room all the coffee cups. You don't necessarily really have to do this, but what I like to do is set out enough cups to be able to put another rack on top. That way, hopefully, nobody really has to do any, any bending to get to coffee cups. Um, so there's that. Here we have the coffee that we already went over. One thing I didn't mention when we went over that is it does take up to an hour for it to heat up. So you want to make sure that you do this, do the coffee first. Um, then we have our sugar and sugar packets, spoons, napkins, and this is where I'll put the cream when I bring that out. There's a spoon for, or there's a plate for dirty spoons and a plate, you know, if somebody uses a sugar packet, they put their dirty or trash packet here. We have our hot water for our tea and our tea bags. And then this is where the lemonade and water will go when I bring that out from the refrigerator. And we have cups. Um, and then 
you know, you can set this table up however you like. I mean, you can really set up anything however you like as long as everything's out here. Um, but uh, I usually do like plates and uh, napkins at each end. And then, you know, of course your trays of food and here's the uh, little packets of fruit snacks that we already brought out. Um, if we have more kids and start doing more kid snacks, we'll have a separate table out over here um, that we'll put these kind of kid snacks. If you make any special snacks for kids, you can uh, put that on this table. And I usually will do a pitcher of lemonade and a pitcher of water on this table for the kids uh, with the smaller cups. Um, but like I said, right now we don't have a lot of kids coming, so I just have everything. And of course, we do have to remember to bring out the cart for the dirty cups. Um, so this is for your dirty cups, and then this is for any garbage that people have. Um, and that is it.